Ciao, benvenuti tutti. How are you, loves? It's Monday. It's Monday. And we're DWTD is in the house. And you know what we're going to make? This fabulous dish. Fabulous dish. Do you have a can of chickpeas lying around? That's right. Hi, sissy. How are you? Hi, boo. Hi, Jody. How are you, sweethearts? Today, we are making, it's a version of shot. Shashus, shashuka. <laughs> it's one of those hard words. Shashuka. Uh, hi, Cheryl. Shashuka. It's a version of that. The, the recipe that I've posted does have chickpeas in it. The original has tomatoes and it's a North African uh, Middle Eastern dish that they do with eggs and um, either fresh tomatoes and chilies and peppers and all that sort of thing. Sorry, my face is just a little sorry. Um, no, not supposed to touch the face, but sorry. <laughs> but um, this version I found in Bon Appetit. Now I'm going to change it up a little bit. Hi, Annie Lynn. Hi, everybody. Thanks for joining me today. But I'm going to use some of the ingredients I had in the house. So the recipe that I posted from Bon Appetit, I'm going to use basically that base. And then I'm going to add a few other little things. Uh, they, they called for rosemary, but I have fresh, fresh basil, courtesy of Cheryl Burkle. Thank you, Ms. Cheryl Burkle, who dropped this off. Thank you. And I'm going to use the beautiful basil at the end, chiffonade that up tear some leaves on, put that on top. North Africans would probably use um, cilantro, fresh coriander, but we have the basil, so I thought we're gonna do a little, a little twist on it. We're gonna do a little bit Italiano. And we have our beautiful, if you have some beautiful canned chickpeas, guys, this is it. Remember, use those fabulous chickpeas in the can and refrigerate the can so that the water of the chickpeas you can use it afterwards. I didn't throw my water away. I'm gonna whip it up and make it into a meringue. So everything you can use. Hi, Joey. Thanks for watching today, sweetheart. So I have my fabulous cast iron pan. I wanna cook this in a beautiful cast iron pan. It all cooks on top of the stove, sweethearts. So I'm just gonna get mine on and we're gonna saute up. It calls for garlic and rosemary, but I had some beautiful garlic and I had some gorgeous shallots that Miss Cheryl Burkle once again delivered to me. So I haven't had shallots in a while. So I thought, why not put some shallots in it? what you have, if you have peppers, anything. Guys, just put it in. So I'm gonna saute this in some extra virgin Sicilian olive oil. Hi, Rick, how are you, lovey? Thank you, dear Cheryl, for dropping that off to me. It was so lovely to see you yesterday. I walked outside the house and <gasps> she just dropped it on my porch. She was out in the yard and I, it was so lovely to see someone in person because, you know, we've been hunkered down for six weeks. So I haven't seen anyone except you lovelies on, here on the, uh, on the Facebook. So we're gonna make this beautiful sort of shashu, shashuka version. Shashu, shashuka, it's tricky. I used to call it shashushka, but it's shashuka. So I looked it up again and it's, it's an old school recipe really from North Africa, Israel. There's a lot of different versions, but it's eaten with a lot of delicious crusty bread. That's what they eat it with, a beautiful crusty bread. So we have our chickpeas, tomato paste, cream, eggs, and at the end, beautiful prosciutto that I got at Aldi. You can get this great prosciutto at Aldi. So what I'm gonna do, love, is I have my beautiful pan heating up. I'm gonna put a nice glug of extra virgin olive oil in here, sweethearts. I have my garlic and my shallots already sliced up because we didn't wanna see all that crazy, right? I have it all mise en place, all ready to go. So I have my big wooden spoon here. There, we're gonna see, now we just wanna hear that beautiful sizzle. We're gonna saute this up and get it nice and soft. And then I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do, lovies. So get your, if you have some red onions, use that. If you have peppers, I know in North African cuisine, they use a lot of peppers, um, red peppers. Um, so that would go in here, uh, tomatoes. But this way we're using tomato paste instead of the um, fresh tomatoes or instead of whole tomatoes, I'm using tomato paste. That's what the recipe called for. So I have some lovely tomato paste. I have my fabulous chickpeas drained. I'm gonna show you how we're gonna do this. I have a few eggs. We put the eggs right on top and then we uh, put the lid on top and we cook the eggs, sort of like fried eggs, sort of like a fry poach type of thing in the, um, in the liquid. So that's what we're doing, lovey. So we have our beautiful shallots here. Just get those all nice and sauteed up. Do it in our beautiful, and you serve this right in the cast iron skillet, sweethearts. Hi, Deneen, how are you, sweetheart? Thanks for joining us today. We're making our beautiful chickpea and tomato paste and cream. Hi, Andrea, how are you, sweetheart? How are you, sweetie? Hello to your sweet puppy. Andrea, fabulous opera singer and has the most beautiful golden retriever, my favorite doggy ever. 
in the world. So sweet. So I'm just sauteing up the shallots and the garlic. I'm gonna put it on medium now, guys. Just don't want the garlic to burn. Everyone owns those white cooking ware dishes. I have the whole set. Hung yeah, that's true, sweetheart. Those white cooking ware dishes, yeah. Hi, Sarah, how are you, sweetheart? Are you hungry, Andrea? You're gonna love this, sweetheart. This is such an easy dish. Some shallots and garlic. Just sauteing those up. I like to do that. Get those nice and brown. Hi, Kenneth, how are you? Oh, yes, your puppy loves me. I love, I love him. Oh my God, I go crazy. He's so sweet. I know he just got a haircut. He looks adorbs. He looks adorbs. And I know you're down in Florida, sweetheart, so it's nice and warm down there. Hi, Dr. Lars. Dr. Lars is teaching upstairs. Mama Lamberti's in the house. We're all here. We are all here. Good to go. So now what I'm going to do, lovies, is I add my tomato paste because what I like to do, I have a little can. It usually comes in this little pan or it comes in like a toothpaste size tube, which is lovely as well. So I add a big, big, nice tablespoon of that and I like to cook it in the oil. I like to cook out that raw taste. So cook out the uh, tomato paste. Just cook that. Let that get nice and brown and delicious. Woo, is that fabulous, loves. Oh, that's delicious. I'm telling you, just like this, the Italians would add a little water. They'd have a pasta sauce right here. This would be it, loveys. So we're just cooking out that raw taste of the tomato paste. Hi, Miss Mo. How are you, sweetheart? Welcome. It smells really good in here, loveys. The beautiful garlic and the shallots. So we're just going to cook up the tomato paste. Just brown it a little bit, get it cooked, get that raw taste out of it. Like to cook that up for a little bit. Then I'm gonna add my chickpeas. It's a really fast, fast, fabulous recipe, guys. But I had seen this on Bon Appetit. It's a great, great site. Hi, Roy, how are you, sweetheart? Thanks for joining us today. We're making our shakshuka. That's it, it's a North African, Middle Eastern. It's sort of a, um, a take on that. They don't usually put chickpeas in it, but this one has chickpeas, so I thought I would try that. So I've cooked out the tomato paste. Hi, sweetheart. I'm gonna add my can of chickpeas. Boom, just add the can. Get those going, lovies. Get those sauteed around. And then there is heavy cream in this, lovies. It's not some little like chicken stock dish. There is heavy cream in it, but it's not too bad. You don't have to put too much in there. So actually, you know what? I may just put a little more tomato paste in. Why? Because I like to. Because I want that really red color. So no worries, I just licked it. Tomato paste is good for you. Lots of lycopene. It's delicious. Hi, Lisa. Hi, Francesco. How are you, sweetheart? Yes, we're making our beautiful chickpea and egg dish with tomato paste. We're just cooking this out, loves. Cook that down, and then I'm going to add some beautiful heavy cream to this, and we're just going to cook all that down. Look at that, loveys. Woo! Fabuloso. Look at this, guys, and it's going to just turn all red and beautiful. Now, this is the first time I'm doing this recipe, guys. You know, I always try everything out here. I made some yummy spinach and aglio olio. Ooh, yeah, yeti Santa. That's right. That sounds amazing, sweetheart. I love aglio olio. I'm going to have to make it for you guys. Hi, Victoria. Everybody's joining me today. Love seeing everybody new coming on in. Hi, Victoria, sweetheart. You have to come. We're doing a duet. We're doing a big duet on Dining with the Diva. When Dining with the Diva goes on tour, that's what we're doing, sweethearts. So we put in our beautiful cream. See how beautiful and creamy and unctuous this is? Look at this, guys. This is fantastic. So there we go, lovies. Oops, that went down. <laughs> Hi, Carla and Pete. How are you, lovies? Just put a little more cream. Sorry, my little thing went down here, lovies. So now what we do, we have all this cooking in here, loves. I haven't added any salt or pepper. I'm gonna add a little salt. I'm gonna add a little bit of my beautiful, fresh cracked pepper that I keep in here. Hi, sweetheart. How much cream, sweetheart? How much cream was that? I would say that was a good um, eight ounces. That was eight ounces of cream, sweetheart. I'm going to, to shop now. You're gonna stop now or shop now, boo? Shop? <laughs> yes. About eight ounces of cream, sweetheart. I did have the recipe, it's online, that I put on my Facebook page. And you know, I never follow anything exactly because I just don't. I read through it and I've read a lot of different recipes, but I thought I would add some shallots to this. I have the garlic, I have the tomato paste, the cream. And what I have to do now 
is I make a little in indentation here, sweethearts, to cook my eggs. See, we just want a little, want a couple of eggs in here that I'm gonna use. I'm gonna put the basil on at the end. I have these beautiful eggs from my friend Randy, who gives us his beautiful eggs from his chickens that are just amazing. So I actually gave him, um, you'll get fat on eight ounces of cream. Oh, no, 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 boo. I mean, if you, you know, do, just have your one meal a day and eat this, it's fabulous. It's great. You don't need a big portion of it. This will keep you full all day, sweethearts, because there's the fiber in it is crazy with the chickpeas. Chickpeas really keep you going. So I'm just gonna put three eggs in. You could put four, you could put five, you could put six, you could put a whole bunch in, lovies. So I'm just turning it up to medium. And I'm, then I'm going to cover it and we're gonna cook the eggs in right here, sweethearts. We're just gonna cook them right here. So my fabulous Le Creuset cover can actually cover this and we cook the eggs just like that, sweethearts. Hi, Michael, how are you? Thank you, sweetheart. Thanks for coming in today, guys. We're making sort of a version, it's a North African sort of version. I'm not kidding, I, I could care less. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Make this, guys, it's a lovely dish. It's, it's very filling, you really just need to eat this. What is this, Michael? Hi, Michael. This is a chickpea and tomato paste. This is what it looks like, sweethearts. Um, it's sort of a version, if you know the North African uh, shakshuka, which is a tomato and egg and vegetable. You know, they put peppers in it and they put eggs in it and tomatoes. This is sort of my version. This is the version that I got from, actually Bon Appetit had put something similar. So I thought, let's make this. I have a whole bunch of chickpeas. I know Dr. Lars lives on them. He loves them. I have a lot of recipes for them. So, and I love, I had some beautiful fresh eggs. I had tomato paste. So what I've done is I've sauteed up some garlic and some shallots and olive oil. Then I put in about a tablespoon, two tablespoons of tomato paste, cooked that down, added heavy cream. Is there a substitute for heavy cream so that it can be vegan? Um, yeah, actually, sweethearts, you could probably use an unsweetened, I would use an unsweetened, um, I'm just gonna cover this again, an unsweetened um, nut milk, sort of like an almond, or actually, well, you know what I would do? Forget it, coconut milk. There it is, there's your, there's your substitute. Coconut milk in the can, the thick one, brilliant in this. It'd give it a great flavor. What spice is it, Michael? Oh, thanks, sweetheart. Well, in this, I've just put salt and pepper at the end. They called for, thank you, Deneen, yes, coconut milk. Boom, coconut milk is great in this. It would be a, amazing in here. I just had the cream, I didn't have any coconut milk on me, so coconut milk, put that in, fabulous loves. Um, what spice could go in here, sweetheart? It did also called for smoked paprika. Since I don't have any smoked paprika, I do just have regular paprika that I'm going to put a little bit in here, loves, and it called for rosemary in the recipe, but I had some fresh, beautiful basil that I'm going to just put on top at the end. And what else goes on at the end, which is the big thing, is slices of prosciutto. So what you do, I had this beautiful prosciutto from Aldi. They have such great prosciutto at Aldi. So you just get your prosciutto slices here, lovies. And if you saw the picture, it's just fantastic. So um, they topped it with fresh prosciutto slices once the eggs cooked. And what I thought I would do is I would just top it with prosciutto and some beautiful fresh basil. Love the addition of the chickpeas to shashuska dish. Yes, very healthy and full of protein. It's very true. See how the eggs are cooking here, lovies? Look at that, fabulous. So let the eggs cook till they set. And then I'm gonna finish it with a little bit. I have some beautiful smoked paprika would be great, guys. I don't have any, unfortunately, at the moment because I do love it, I adore it. So it'd be great to put in at the beginning. I'm just gonna top that with this. And I'm going to just, hi, Debbie Miller, how are you? Yes, Kate, it's great. The chickpeas are just amazing. I'm gonna show you um, a recipe of blondies, you know, blondies, you know, like brownies and blondies. I'm gonna make a blondie recipe with chickpeas. It's completely, it's a vegan one. It's fantastic. I read it last night. It's fantastic. So here I have some beautiful basil. I just like to, oh, it's so fabulous, guys. It smells like summer. Oh, yes, so beautiful. Here we go, lovey. See, eggs are sort of cooking away in here. Just keep that covered. And at the end, we're gonna finish it with some beautiful, basil, we could chiffonade it. If you know what chiffonade means, you take the basil leaves. So they're sort of like cigar leaves. You know, take the biggest leaves, you stack them up. Then you roll them like a cigar, guys. I know it's hard to see here because I don't have the best sort of setup here, but you roll it like a cigar. 
Hi, Leslie, how are you, sweetheart? And then you finally chop, and that's called a chiffonade, one of those fabulous French terms. But, you know, the Italians would just rip it. They would just rip it and, and put that on top. So I just wanted to show you guys there's different things you can do. Chiffonade that basil, put it right on top. I think some lemon juice at the end to brighten it or lemon zest would be beautiful. Whatever you guys have, if you have it, put it in this. I think it'd be great. See here, the eggs are setting up, they're cooking. Oh, it's gonna be fabulous, loves. We're gonna put some of that prosciutto in at the end, get it warmed up, and then you serve this right to the table in the pan, in the cast iron pan. Oh yeah, the basil's amazing. Thank you, dear, fabulous Cheryl Burkle for bringing me the shallots and the basil. It's just, I haven't had fresh herbs in weeks, in a long time, so it's lovely to be able to use them. So I thought, I have it, I'm gonna use these guys. I'm just gonna put this on top right now just so it looks so pretty. Look how beautiful that is. We're still cooking the eggs though, loves. I want those to be well set. It takes a little while because I have it on medium heat. So then we take this right to the table and serve it with some fabulous, fabulous crusty bread. Look, I've, I've heated the bread. I have a beautiful baguette, crusty and beautiful. Just dunk that in, it's gonna be off the chain. Off the chain, it's gonna be fabulous. Use whatever spices you like in this. You can use, also I did see that some of people use cinnamon nutmeg a lot of north african and sicilian it's a lot of the same because the north african and that um that country brought a lot of things to sicily that's why sicilians love the sweets they brought sugar that's why a lot of the sicilian sweets are made with tons of sugar and they have that sort of um aceto they have the acid and the sweet and the sour they love that they love to use vinegar with sugar and a lot of their salads and things like that so nutmeg, cinnamon, clove, those kind of spices are great also in these kind of dishes. Fantastic. So you see, we're cooking it up. I'm just going to take a little, a little taste because I know the, they're not set yet. But just to take a taste of the tomato um, chickpea mixture with the shallots. So the eggs are still cooking. I'm just going to go over here, ladies. Here we go. Yeah. No, it's, we're in good shape. It's not burning or anything. It is Fabuloso. I think this is going to be delicious. I'm just going to try a little bit out here, sweetheart. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Delicious. Smoked paprika would be amazing. Amazing. If I had it. Don't have it, lovies, but it's okay. The basil is going to make up for that. Our beautiful prosciutto slices on top. You know what? I'm going to put that beautiful prosciutto there. Look at this, buoys. Put some beautiful slices of prosciutto. You just put those around. If you have prosciutto, if you're lucky enough to get it, which I was, Aldi had it. Um, layer those beautiful prosciutto. Look at this, guys. Off the chain. That prosciutto will just warm up as it covers because the eggs still have to set. There's not many things I don't like. There is one thing I don't like. I don't like when the white is not set in an egg. It, it, I just can't. Ever since I was young, I love the yellow. Very, very, you know, fluid, and I like to be able to break it and eat it with toast. But if the white is not set, I freak out. I just can't not freak out. Just not thrilled with that. Not thrilled with the white not being set. So I will cook this quite a while to make sure the whites are set. And then the, the yolks are still runny. It takes a little bit of time, though, because you're just doing this with the steam. Hi, Patricia. How are you? My sister says, sounds yum. Love the chickpeas. She's made the blondies before with the chickpeas. Amazing recipe. It's basically blondies, brown sugar, um, it's Blondie's brown sugar. What else is it, Sissy? I have to, I'll, I'll post it. They use um, dairy-free chocolate chips, baking soda, baking powder. Uh, it's just fantastic. And they, and you bake them. And then it's good if they sort of come to room temperature and you cool them. Hi, Adriana. How are you, sweetheart? Uh, we're making our sort of version of shakshuka. Look at this, guys. Look at this, guys. It is fabuloso. So the, the whites are setting. The whites are just setting. We're going to finish it off then, sweethearts with a little bit of um, olive oil on the top, and why not? I have them. Why not? Some toasted pignoli nuts, because you know, we're making it Italian and Middle Eastern, and there it is, Mediterranean. So we ha I had some beautiful pine nuts. I'm just gonna top it with that. Um, eat this for breakfast, eat it for lunch, have it for dinner, guys. Breakfast for dinner, fabulous. It is so great. You can always have eggs. I'm a, th I'm a huge egg fan. I love eggs, I think they're brilliant. See, we're setting up, lovies. We're setting up just a little bit longer. This is going to be so great. Just take it to the table. I'm with you. Whites need to be thoroughly cooked. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah, I'm big on the whites. Have to be cooked. Um, 
So what also you could top with this, if you, if you want to make, uh, if you like cheese, put some feta in there. Some beautiful feta. I love feta cheese. Um, even some grated Parmigiano Reggiano, anything that you have like that, sweethearts, pecorino, put it in, change it up, whatever you guys like. But look at this. It's just fabulous. Look how gorgeous that is. I just love it. How hot is that? Not too bad. Look at that guys. Guys, look. Oh yeah. That's not bad. That pretty, that came pretty close to the, uh, see when you take it off, it doesn't like when you take it off on an induction burner. It says, no, we don't like you. And it turns off. But I wanted to show you guys that. Ali says, yes, made tons of chocolate avocado mousse. Yes, my sisters made amazing. I was also going to, I have a lot of avocados. I ordered avocados and of course they all ripened at the same time, of course. So what I wanted to do was make an avocado chocolate mousse. Just with the avocados, I know they use agave, don't have any agave. I could use honey um, or I could use stevia. I'm not sure it'll work as well. My sister could tell me. And then you use chocolate cocoa powder and if you have bittersweet chocolate. So, hi, Mona. How are you, sweetheart? Yes, we're making our beautiful shashuka. shashuka. Um, tricky word. I always said shashushka. <laughs> so, I've really looked it up. Uh, but this is sort of a version where I've added chickpeas and I use tomato paste instead of whole uh, tomatoes. But it's a sort of version of that with the eggs. Oh, this is looking fabulous, lovies. Our prosciutto's nice and warm. Our basil's in there. Top it with some of the pignoli and the olive oil and your crusty bread and you're good to go. See, I've already eaten, and so now I have this massive thing <laughs> that no one's eating. Mom already ate, Dr. Lars ate, um, so now, and this is the kind of thing you really have to serve and do it right now. It's not something you sort of say, oh, we'll eat it tonight, because you know, the eggs will set up. I think the chickpeas and the tomatoes, that will be delicious, and if you want to just have the eggs a little bit hard, it wouldn't be a big deal. Uh, but it's a quick dish, yes. It's a really, really quick dish. It's delicious. Have some with some bread, guys. Look at this, guys. It's fabuloso. Look at that. It's really great. Hi, Katie. Our beautiful shashuka here. It's so gorgeous with the chickpeas. And the eggs are perfectly, they're setting. They're gorgeous. Look at this, guys. Gorgeous. I think I can actually turn it off. I think we're in good shape. Boom. And I'm just going to top it with a little bit of pignoli nut. Yeah, oh, I could take it to Graziella and Jules. You're right, sissy. Just take the whole pan over. <laughs> Here, guys. They'll be like, that's enough for a week. You know, oh, I'm pretty sure that you put it out on the porch. Someone who's walking. Yeah, that's true. They might be able to I put it on the porch and say, here we go, guys. Guys, you're going you're gonna to cry this. I'm going to put a little more freshly cracked black pepper on top, loves. A little more beautiful paprika. I wish it was smoked, but I don't have any. But it's a beautiful color to put on top of there. Look at that, guys. And maybe just because I love it, a squeeze, a little squeeze of lemon juice because it gives a little acid to that. And there we go. Boom. The squirrels. Yeah, the squirrels will eat it. Look at this, guys. Is that gorgeous or what, buoys? You know I have to try it. I mean, I have to try it because I always have to try everything. And I have to, this beautiful, crunchy bread here. And I have to try it. I have to try it just because it's here and we have to see what it tastes like. So I won't break an egg. I mean, I'd love to break an egg, but I'm just going to put it in that creamy, beautiful, boom, here we go. Yeah, here we go, guys. Oh, oh yeah. That is so good, guys. Delicious, the eggs. Look at my mess. It's all good. Rick says, hi, Mama Lamberti. Hi, Rick. Hi, Rick. So... This egg set up a little bit. That's fine. If the egg gets a little hot, no biggie. Eggs are good no matter what. They all cook at different times, but guys, I'm telling you, who, who's going to eat this? Well, I'm eating it right now. Because <laughs> you know why? Because there's fresh basil on it, and I have to have a little bit of fresh basil because I haven't had any for weeks. Look at this. Look at this bite, guys. Yeah, I'm going to do that. I'll take a bowl of that. Yeah, that's right. Guys, of course, anything with crispy bread that you dunk. Guys, you gotta do this. Um, the basil makes it. It'd also be great with fresh cilantro on top. That would take it to another level. Fresh cilantro would be delicious on top. Rosemary would be intense. Thyme would be great, but I actually think the basil freshens it up. Parsley, great. My mom, <laughs> Allie says, I'll take a bowl of that. And she says, Mom, I don't hear you today. Mom's, mom's a little tired today. She's tired. We all didn't sleep so great. 
I know I was up about three or four hours last night, but you know, I've had my coffee and I'm in front of you guys and I gotta get it up for you guys. So I am, cheers. Have some cold brew in my cup. Mm -hmm. That's the key. Make this guys, you're not, you're just gonna go crazy. If you have a cast iron skillet, use it. If you don't have one, they're inexpensive. You can get one online, get it guys. It's the best thing you'll ever make. You can you do so much in these cast iron skillets. You can make cookie, cookie skillet things I've seen. You can make everything. They're the best, they clean up well. I'm gonna have another bite because I don't care. And because there's basil and pine nuts and it's just, it's a delicious. Mom may have to try this just because. Uh-huh, yeah. Mm-hmm, oh! Tomato paste makes it, guys. Smoked paprika would take it we over the top. If you have it, put it in. Yeah, Joe said mom probably didn't sleep well. That's true, lovies. She didn't. So, it's all good. We're all here. You know, it's just been a long time. We're tired. Hi, Thea. How are you, sweetheart? We just finished our beautiful shashuka and our fabulous chickpeas and our eggs and our beautiful prosciutto, guys. This is a beautiful family meal. Serve this center of the table. Lots of bread. Big, beautiful salad. Boom. You have a great meal. This didn't cost, this was cost pennies. Tomato paste. A can of chickpeas. Chickpeas are 59 cents. Three or four eggs. A little bit of prosciutto. That's the most. And cream. Or if you want to use coconut milk, use the coconut milk, the coconut cream in the can. Fantastic if you want to make it vegan. Great, great way. You don't have to put the prosciutto in at all, sweethearts. Just put whatever other type of veggies you want to try. It'd be fantastic. Uh, I think beautiful sautéed fennel. Anything would be great in it. So try this, lovies. It is off the chain. Just try it. I posted the recipe. I've added a few other little things, you know, such as fresh basil, pine nuts, go crazy, pistachios, whatever you want, whatever you have on hand, go for it. Don't be nervous about just putting it all together because it all works here. It all works. So there we are, sweethearts. Wow, that was a fast one today. There it is, lovies. Our beautiful, beautiful chickpea, tomato, and egg skillet here with the basil. Just beautiful. And um, tomorrow... I'm either gonna do the chickpea brownies or I'm gonna do key lime pie. What is it, key lime pie? If I can get it together, I'm making key lime pie because <laughs> I have graham cracker, it's old school. Sweetened condensed milk, limes. I don't have key limes, loveys, I only have limes. So it's gonna be a lot of lime zest, lime juice, sweetened condensed milk, some eggs, gonna bake it, and we're doing old school graham cracker crust. Um, I don't have any whipping cream to put on top, but what I could do is do the aquafaba what I was telling you about, the chickpea water that is chilled and you do it, everyone wants key lime pie. Okay, we'll do that, sweethearts. The chickpea water that's chilled and then you um, you put it either in with uh, the, be the beaters, electric beaters, or you do it with uh, a KitchenAid, which I don't have, and it whips it up like meringues and then we could bake it on top. I think it'll work. We're just gonna have to see. We're gonna make the aquafaba meringue that would make it vegan, but the thing is, sweetened condensed milk does not. I actually wanted to make a vegan um, key lime, but you do it with avocados. But I actually didn't have all of the, um, that's his favorite. Brogan was saying, okay, sweetheart, we're gonna do the key lime. I'm gonna get it all together. Key lime tomorrow, for sure. So here we go, lovies. Check this out, try this out, guys. It is so fabulous, definitely. I'm gonna put the, uh, you'll see the um, recipe. Have you ever made Ina's frozen key lime pie? Oh no, she was, oh no, I've never made that, Deneen. Oh no, that would be fabulous. Yeah, key lime and avocado tarts. I know Allie, because she's, she's vegan and she does a lot of vegan food, she makes them. I just didn't have the right things for the crust. I was looking up a lot of different tarts. I just didn't have a lot of the ingredients uh, because I didn't also have, um, I didn't have agave or something to sweeten it. So we'll figure it out. I will figure it out, but tomorrow will definitely be a key lime or a lime pie. So try this out, lovies. Remember to subscribe. We're up to 152 subscribers. We're trying to get it to 250, 250. And then also my Patreon page. If you guys want to know more about it, just click on, I'll leave um, a link that talks about the Patreon, which is a way to support artists monthly for a small, small fee that sort of keeps us going with our videos and our food and our music and all of it. It's just a great, 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 hosting site. Love and miss you too, sweethearts. We love you so much. Thank you so much, loves, for coming in. It just brightens my day to have you all here. Kind of a gray day. And we're all very tired. You know, sometimes it, it gets to be tiring after a while. Say so she uses regular limes too. Yes. Okay. She uses regular limes. That's great because we can't always get the baby key limes. They're sometimes hard to find, especially now. 
So, grazie mille a voi. Thank you so much, sweethearts. Now, stay safe, stay put, stay cooking. And I will see ci vediamo domani for key lime pie or regular lime pie. Okay, tanti vaccini. Ciao, ciao.